Northwestern at Iowa. Tricky, tricky spot, right? Super low total. They got steamed up somehow. Um, but Iowa is an 11.5 point favorite. The total sits at 38. It's 3.30 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN2. And let's go on and do it. Let's bring up the numbers here. I've got Iowa by 5.25 in this game. This Iowa offense is brutal. They are so bad. But I will tell you this. Uh, the cure for a bad offense might be the Northwestern defense. Although, I will tell you this. You look at those numbers. They have improved significantly over the last five weeks. Right? Uh, this, By the way, these numbers, in case you aren't watching the entire show, if you're just watching the clip, one, thank you. But two, go back and watch the full show. These numbers that I'm using are over the last five weeks. It is not the full season numbers. It is just the last five weeks. I want the most recent data. What these teams really look like. They are opponent adjusted, just so you know. But um, but yes, this is this is tricky, right? Uh, looking at the trends, Northwestern three and seven against the spread in their last ten. They are two and five against the spread on the road in their last seven. They are zero oh and five against the spread. After a spread win, which they just had, Iowa four one and one against the spread after a spread loss, which they just had at Ohio State. They are one and five against the number in their last six home games. These home game numbers tend to be inflated a little bit. Iowa is always tricky to work with, right? Because you there's no real way to quantify turnovers and special teams, etc., in uh, predictive analytics. It's just very difficult to do because it really depends on the other team. Will they give up? You can't. It's it's very difficult. I'll say that. So let's try and take a look at this and see exactly what it is that we're looking at. Northwestern's defense, number 60 PPA per pass. Uh, they are number 48 in passing success rate allowed. Uh, this, this bunch is actually all right. Like, if they can get somebody behind the chains, their defense is number 26 in passing downs PPA, number 17 passing down success rate. Iowa is putrid if you get them in third and long. I mean, just awful. When it comes to standard downs uh, success rate, number 97 for Northwestern's defense, number 97 for Northwestern's offense, yeah, it's not great. Um, PPA per rush, Northwestern's defense, number 76. Iowa is number 125. Uh, there's, there's nothing that I can show you that would make you think that Iowa has a reasonable expectation to be successful on offense in this game, or for that point, like in any game. Iowa's offense is terrible. But if you think that one's bad, well, you can also look at this. Northwestern's offense, number 110 in PPA per pass, number 114 in PPA per rush. It ain't good. Uh, just overall success rate on offense, uh, Northwestern is number 93 it it ain't it ain't great and going up against that Iowa defense is certainly not great. I don't expect a lot of points here. I think that's the understatement of the year, right? So if I'm not expecting a lot of points, if the total is 38, well that just screams for you to take the underdog in this spot. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Northwestern plus the 11 and a half. Look, 21 to 10 gets me a cover here. Uh, do I think Northwestern is good? No. Uh, do I think that Kinnick Stadium is scary at night? Yes, but this one ain't at night. I think that Northwestern can be somewhat successful. They have played a little bit better since they got into Big Ten play. Do I trust them? No. No, not at all. But, hey, in this spot, yeah, give me the Wildcats. Plus 11 and a half. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.